What's up y'all and welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna show you how I made this huge 20 bulb, 50 inch dimmable vanity. I was gonna buy one, but all of them were really small in size and because I'm extra, I needed me a big one. It was honestly really easy once I got the right items and the total cost for the mirror and lights was under $250. In the video, I listed all the prices and stores where I got each item. And at the end, I also show you where I got my little storage unit. So I wanted to show you how big this vanity really is. This is during the day around 4 p.m. in natural sunlight. When I turn the vanity up all the way, you can see it's way too bright. The reason why it was really important to have a dimmer was because I knew I wasn't gonna need 20 bulbs of light every single time I used it. This mirror is so huge that I even use it to see my outfits. This is an old piece from my old collection and you guys can get it on sale on my site. Another thing that was really important to me was I actually hate sitting down when I do my makeup and I like being legit like one inch away from the mirror so I can like do my, I don't know, I just like being really close. So I built this high enough so that I was able to stand. I also put the storage unit low enough because when I rarely do like to sit down, I usually sit down to diffuse my hair. Um, all I have to do is legit pull up a chair. The glass and the shelves are two separate pieces and the glass is actually a custom cut. So enough talking and enough explaining let's just get right into the video being that I'm extra I got a huge 49 inch 8 bulb vanity strip then on Amazon I was able to snag this 36 inch 2 pack which comes with two light strips with six bulbs each so first you're gonna lay out your vanity strips and remove the metal sleeves that hold the vanity in place each vanity strip comes with four exposed wires that are placed in the center. So you have those on the right, and then you have the four exposed wires on the left. Each come with two white wires and two black wires. So for the next steps, you are gonna need some electrical tape. You're also gonna need some wire connectors so that none of the wires are exposed. You're gonna need some extra white wire, which you can buy by the foot. And you're also gonna need some extra black wire that you can also buy by the foot. This is honestly the most simple DIY ever. You're just gonna simply take the white with the white, twist those wires together, use your wire connector so that it's not exposed and screw that over the wires. Then same thing, repeat the process, take the black with the black, take the exposed wire, twist it together and seal it with a wire connector. Being that I want the vanity to turn on at the same time without multiple cores, I have to connect each light strip together. So I thought it would be easiest if I connected all the wires at each of the corners of the vanity strips. Some of you guys might suggest that I connect all the wires to the center of the middle vanity strip, but connecting 20 lights of power to one wire is not safe and it's definitely not recommended. Using your scissors, you want to gently cut around the plastic to expose the wire and then use a tool or your fingers or whatever you have, whatever is easiest, to pull the excess wire off. You should have eight exposed wires all together. Using your extension white wire that we got from Home Depot, you want to use this to connect the middle light bar to the side light bar. So here I'm just measuring it out and then cutting it to size. And then we're gonna do the same thing for the black wire as well. On YouTube, a lot of you guys I'm sure have seen it being done with extension cords. I actually did the whole process with an extension cord. The wire got really hot. Um, I went to an electrician. They said an extension cord is for temporary use and it's not recommended. So if you're doing something this big or if you want something for long-term use, do not use an extension cord. This wire was super easy to get and very inexpensive and it's so much easier to work with this rather than an extension cord because it's so much thinner. And when you're matching the wires, it's easy because you simply just match black with black and the white with white and you don't have to make any mistakes that can be dangerous. So repeating the same steps because we need to actually connect these wires together, you are gonna use your scissors to gently cut around the plastic. You wanna repeat this step for each end of the wire for the black and also for the white. So earlier you saw me cut three black wires and three white wires. We're gonna take one of the smaller black wires and connect that to one of the wires on the light strip and use a wire connector to seal it so it's not exposed. Then you're gonna take the longer extension and connect it to both of the black wires and then use a wire connector to seal it so that it's not exposed. Then I need to connect the side light bar to the middle light bar. So now I need to take the other mini extension wire and twist it to the middle light bar. 
The reason why I need a mini extension is because when I originally cut the wire, I took off some of the length, so without the mini extension, it won't be able to reach the other wire. So I have the mini extension from the middle light strip, the long extension from the right light strip, and then the exposed wire on the middle light strip. So taking those three, I wanna twist those together. And just my personal rule, I didn't want to exceed more than three wires to one connector because I didn't want the wires to get too hot. So now you see we are popping, we're almost there with our first step. We have the black wire from the side vanity strip connected to the black wire from the middle vanity strip. Now we need to do the same exact thing for the white. So once again, taking the mini extension, connecting that to one of the wires on the light bar on the side. Then taking the two exposed wires from the side light bar and connecting that to the extension. Now when you connect these three together and any other wires, you wanna make sure that all the wires are completely intertwined. And then using your wire connector, you wanna twist all the way until you feel it tighten. Even though I'm connecting these using wires, I don't want them to show when I hang them up on the wall. So what I did is I actually drilled a really small hole onto the vanity so that the wires can go through the vanity so that the chrome plates can lay flush and flat. I will show you guys how I drilled this hole later in the video and it's a perfect size for both of the cords. Repeating the same step, you wanna use your mini extension and connect it to one of the exposed wires on the middle light bar taking that long extension that you pulled through the hole and connecting it to the two exposed wires on the middle light bar and then using your wire connector to make sure that it's not exposed and tightening it as tight as possible. I repeated the exact same steps for the opposite corner, cutting the wire so I can expose it, then using the extension wire and cutting it out, sizing it, making sure that it's long enough and cutting the two mini extensions. It can be a little bit confusing, so if you think you don't have it down, go ahead and rewatch what I just showed you, but you can see that I connected all of the wires on this side. And like I showed you earlier in the video, each light bar comes with middle wires that are already exposed, being that these aren't gonna connect to anything, you're just gonna twist the black with black, the white with white, and then use your wire connectors to seal those tight. And for this side of the light bar, I also drilled a hole in the vanity so that the chrome plates can lay flush and flat when I hang it up on the wall. I'm gonna connect the power and the dimmer to this side of the light bar. I got my dimmer from Home Depot. It was super inexpensive. When you are choosing a dimmer, you wanna make sure that it is compatible with the wattage and the type of light bulbs that you are using. I will explain all of this at another part of the video. I placed my dimmer in the vanity strip just to make sure that it fit and that it was able to close once I put the chrome plate on top. Just for ultimate precision, I used my mascara and actually just put a little bit of it on the knob of the dimmer. I held the dimmer in place, then put the chrome plate over it. And when I turned the plate over, it was like in the exact spot that I needed it to be. I know this probably isn't the best advice, but it worked for me, so I'll go with it. This replacement cord is what I used to power the vanity. The dimmer has two black wires and one ground wire. The replacement cord has one black, white, and ground wire, and the other end gets plugged into the wall. One black wire on the dimmer needs to be connected to the power. The other black wire on the dimmer needs to be connected to the vanity. The white wire on the power needs to be connected to the vanity, so you take both of those wires and you twist those together. The dimmer needs to be connected to the power cord and the vanity to work properly. So take one of the black wires from the dimmer and twist it together with the other black wire from the power cord. So now I have the power cord fully connected. I have the black wire from the dimmer connected to the black wire of the power cord. Then I have the white wire from the vanity connected to the white wire of the power cord, which will then be plugged into the wall. Next, I'm gonna take the other black wire from the dimmer and connect it to the other black wire on the vanity. So now that all the wiring is done, the three vanity strips should be connected to the dimmer and the power. So plug it in, test it out, and see if it works. Now moving on to how I drilled a hole through this chrome plate. Using a more heavy duty drill, I used a 1 8 drill bit that can actually go through metal you need to apply a lot of pressure so that the drill can actually go through. I wasn't too sure how the chrome plate was gonna react to me drilling a hole through it, being that these were super inexpensive, so I used a 1 8 drill bit for precision and to try to keep the quality of the chrome. 
Now that I have a small hole in the metal plate, I switch from the smaller drill bit to the 5 16 drill bit so that the dimmer knob can actually poke through. Now that I know everything works, I'm actually gonna tape off each of the wire connectors. It's really important that there's no exposed wires and the black and the white wires never touch. The wire connectors do do the job of making sure that there's no exposed wires, but I'm just using the electrical tape for extra safety. So I want the vanity to lay as flat as possible, so I'm going to drill a hole to feed the cord through. The cord is really thick, so I'm going to use the 5 16 drill bit, and you have to apply a lot of pressure on the drill, and it might take a couple tries to actually go through. Before I hang it up on the wall, I want to test out the entire vanity and go over the lighting. These metal sleeves keep the vanity in place without having to use tools, and it makes it super easy to put back together. Because I have a huge 20 light vanity, I chose to go with dimmable LED lights because LEDs use the least amount of energy. These bulbs only produce six watts each, which is super low. Each vanity light bar can only take a max of 100 watts. So if each bulb is only six watts and I have six bulbs on bar one, I'm only producing 36 watts of energy. Bar two holds a total maximum of 100 watts, and with eight bulbs at six watts each, it's only producing 48 watts of energy. Bar three holds a total maximum of 100 watts, and with six bulbs at six watts, it's only producing 36 watts of energy. The dimmer can only take an LED max of 150 watts, so when you add up all the numbers from the light bars, it only produces 120 watts LED. To be sure I was using the correct number of watts and just to make sure everything is working, I want to plug it in and test it out and also make sure that the dimmer is working as well. And it is working. I am so happy you guys. So now it's time to get everything set up on the wall. I chose to put my vanity on this plain useless wall in my office. So this is the before. Then the first step is marking three areas on the wall where I'm going to put the mirror clips to hold my actual mirror. These mirror clips hold a total of 20 pounds each and come with the drywall anchor, screws, and mirror clips. The drywall anchors will hold the screws in place so you will not have to use a stud finder at all. So I'm going to take my handy dandy IKEA drill and my drill bit and actually drill a hole directly into the wall where I mark the area. So after you've drilled a hole in the wall, you want to go ahead and insert the drywall anchor. Then after that, you want to take the mirror clip and put the screw inside and then change the drill bit to the right screw bit driver and then drill it directly into the wall. Then I chose to measure out about 10 inches to put the next clip um, and then you're going to legit repeat the same exact process. Now some of you guys might be a little bit hesitant and you might feel like you need a stud finder. These drywall anchors hold so well and because I'm using three clips at the bottom, and then one clip at the top is gonna be super secure. I personally haven't had any issues with using drywall anchors. I actually never use a stud finder and there's multiple things around my house that are on the wall that are much heavier than this mirror and I haven't had any problems so far. I'm putting up the mirror just to see where I need to mark the areas to put the clips around the top of the mirror and also on the sides. Now I can drill my vanity directly to my wall. Now that I'm setting everything up permanently, I can take off this blue plastic protective wrap. And as I mentioned before, every vanity strip does have holes drilled through them so that the cords can run through the vanity and lay flush on the wall. I drilled a hole on the left side as well as the right side. And you can see I am feeding the wire through the hole so that it can lay flat and seamlessly on the vanity. And on the left side, you can see it in more detail how the hole is there and it goes up and down and slides through without any problem and it lays completely flat. Now to finish the vanity, I'm just going to add the metal sleeves that hold the vanity together and then add the light bulbs. I ended up finishing my vanity off with getting a little shelving system from Ikea and then getting a custom glass piece to hold my makeup. And that completes my vanity. 